Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the overall energy read for from February 23rd of 2020, which is a new moon in Pisces. So it's a time of creativity. Pisces, I feel like there are going to be a lot of Pisces that are going to get recognized for their gift. And as I put this music on right before I filmed, started filming this video, Pisces, uh, the song that came on is Whispers Among the Stars. And from that message, I got whatever you are working on, whatever you're starting to do, listen to your intuition when it comes to adding additional ideas or changing things up a little bit. Really getting deep into what is it that makes me happy day, uh, day to day? Do Is it writing, drawing, painting, doing photography, pottery, poetry, you know, dancing, singing, whatever it is, now's the time. Because when we connect with the light of our truth, who we truly are, when that light shines, that's what makes us each a star. So therefore, we when we look at people who are famous and a star, it's because their star is shining, their uniqueness is shining. And nobody can compete with that. And that's why people need to just focus on what you're creating, because some wishes could come true here in the year of 2020 is what I'm hearing for some Pisces, which is phenomenal. Congratulations. If you know what I'm talking about and things are hanging in there, good. We're in a Mercury retrograde here uh, that started around the 16th of February, going on into and through the super moon of March 9th. Now, a super moon is a moon that is closer to the Earth than a full moon. Therefore, there's a lot of intuitive energy. There's a lot of uh, observation. So it's a moment for whichever new beginning, whether you're starting it now or you've already been working on it, Pisces, uh, it's about should I step into this new beginning or not? So some offers may show up. Now, the energy is covering the collective Pisces in the year of 2019 were about false promises. Um, recognizing what truly mattered, whether it was your own purpose, your own self over a situation, or what truly mattered, yeah, to yourself within yourself. Defend that real love. Some of you may be saying now, you know, I'm not going to date. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love those who love me and I'm going to give thanks for my soulmates. Or if you're single, spirit saying it is when we recognize our truth and our the light of our truth and we start to enjoy life day to day, that therein, that bright, beautiful aura is what's going to draw spirit's attention and send someone to you, right? Because we can't make love happen we can't make a soulmate come or uh, a true love come towards us but through trust and faith you darn well can all right so let's go ahead and start with the <laughs> sorry <laughs> i just feel some really fun good energy and i'm so grateful and thankful this for this for pisces because pisces has been down a journey All right, let's go ahead and start with the Game of Thrones deck. And I'm going to do a Celtic spread. So dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Saturn, Pluto, Venus, Jupiter. Bless them with clearly defined messages during this Mercury retrograde. All right. So the energies I am feeling for the 20. Third through around the 28th of February 2020. See, six of spears. This is about other people coming together and recognizing you. It may just be that you're starting a hobby, gift, talent, skills, marketing a product, doing something you've always wanted to do. And it's the light you're giving off of that good energy. Like I was just talking about, that's going to draw others towards you. Attention and recognition. Now. Some Pisces, you may have someone in your thoughts that was not completely honest with you, or you're thinking about someone who is not honest with you, manipulative in some way. But you can use these mag magician energies, Pisces, uh, to manifest 
this to build something that really fulfills you day to day, knowing in your foundation that this will bring you into connection with maybe others who do what you do. Learning through others. I'm hearing receiving an offer. I'm going to get my calendar up. I'm thinking around. I'm getting the 28th to the 3rd. Okay, 28th of February to the 3rd of March of 2020. There is some form of offer. Or you guys may just know when you first see this, I know what this offer is. And I'm receiving a lot of attention and recognition because of what I'm working on. And I'm proud of myself. And I know with the Magician Energies, I can market something or profit from something because it's what I love to do. This is beautiful, Pisces. So in the recent past, representing maybe the first half of February 2020, for whichever Pisces I'm reading for during this general reading, we've got the Queen of Spears. Now, I've been feeling like this is you all along, Pisces. This is you. You've learned a lot of things. You've done a lot of things. And now you are sitting in the Queen of Wands throne, setting goals or having the energy with these with this card to set goals and meet goals that will bring you to this. Now, some of you, by the 23rd of February 2020, you're receiving a lot of attention and recognition already because you are manifesting because, and you'll be reflecting, maybe celebrating some form of recognition, attention, success, or just feel good energies because you're continuing with the Queen of Wands energies to set goals and meet goals. You're continuing to use uh, the magician. And you're going to be looking back at some point, Pisces, and saying, I'm receiving this because I worked hard to manifest and I put the effort in in the past. Now, remember, Mercury retrograde from the 20th, from the, well, it started on the 16th of February into March 9th of the supermoon of 2020. There are going to be offers. But the Mercury retrograde is going to be beautiful because it's going to give us a moment of pause to make sure we know what it is we are manifesting, to make sure we know. Wow. That it's time with the Nine of Swords to let go. Somebody wants to help someone here who may be manipulating them a little bit, Pisces. Don't let them manipulate you. See what's on offer. Take things slowly during the Mercury retrograde and know that in your actions position, you do have a major arcana in the form of the hermit. So this is time to pause and reflect, to meditate and wait for signs and synchronicities from spirit. Because I think there's a strong desire to want to create something right away. But with the Nine of Swords, there's something that is coming to a culmination and ending. Now, this is just closure to a journey. I think this Pisces feels like they can't move ahead in this direction until they get beyond worries and frustrations of the past. Maybe involving someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Either way, in your actions position, you have the ability to continue to reflect Maybe start to journal, journal how far you have come because of the effort you put in. What do you do with this new offer? This is an offer in the area of money, partnership for some. This could be an offer uh, regarding something material like a home or a car. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, boom, we have the tower. I mean, the tower is showing up everywhere. So when this starts to happen, this means that with the death card, you know, we see something ending. With the death card, we know something is coming to a close because it served its purpose in some way. And now we have the tower. The tower is where spirit steps in and says, okay, it's done, it's done. You know, those are gone. The journey ended, the energy's gone. Free your mind. If some of you are still thinking of a magician energy, someone who was manipulative, someone who maybe should not have been, or you were worried to trust, my dog just barked because of that. 
All right. Spirit's giving you the strength to come to a realization that an old path, an old connection circumstance has ended because of an offer. So I think this offer is good. It's just kind of unexpected, or it was, for this Pisces. And luckily, Spirit is helping you with the Major Arcana of the Hermit to just kind of slowly but surely let Spirit bring the Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords into the dissipation of someone in your path. In the hopes and fears position, we have the Ace of Swords. Hoping for victory, but maybe fearing letting go. Letting go of a connection with someone who may have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Wanting to go towards an offer, therefore needing to accept the fact that Spirit's saying, yes, indeed, it is time to step into a new direction whereby you can celebrate victory, whereby you can cut away from anyone or anything that had manipulative energy that you, or maybe that you were trying to help manifest and help another. And now that person, and I saw this in someone else's video, it's like Pisces is ready to click into where the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor, but there are attachments to you where other lives or situations are going to shift before you can shift forward. And that's why the Mercury retrograde is beautiful to me, because it's a moment of pause. It's it's a moment of contemplation about a new beginning where you don't have to make a quick decision. Though I feel like a lot of elements during the Mercury retrograde are going to like be chomping at the bit. Like, are we going to do this? Are we not going to do this? You know? So in the outcome position, representing right around the 9th of March. The super moon, second super moon of seven this year, there's still indecision about something material, something regarding money. So in the three cards spread to my left for further clarification, we've got the week of the 24th to the 28th of February 2020 being represented by someone who's large and in charge, someone who's very much a family figure, someone who may be a father figure, grandfather figure, or someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable. A wish has come true, some form of offer, right? In the foundation position of the Celtic spread with the six of coins. And now Pisces, male or female, you've got the Empress energies to actually manifest a change in your life. Because you have transformed. Look at those two major arcanas. You are giving birth to something as something else dies away. But see, yep, there's fear of communication regarding someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, because that situation's making them feel stuck. They can't let go. This Pisces is not letting go in their thoughts. And then here comes the High Priestess. She's showing up everywhere. She's saying, everybody, just wait a minute. I will show you the way. And then the Six of Cups is about coming together in celebration, in connection with and to others. Now, should a Pisces get discovered, right? Your, your sun or your star shines from within you and you become your own star, however that works out. Spirit saying, again, keep up the hard work, right? Uh, maybe you've been working on something for three months, three years. And Spirit saying with the Three of Coins energies, you are going to eventually, I feel, uh, come into communication about paperwork with justice. Justice here is a major arcana. Pisces is helping for you to find balance in the area of what you are manifesting, be it a new home or business ideas during this Mercury retrograde. For by the first week of March 2020, we have... Communication still going on about forward movement, having to make a change or wanting to make a change. There's like indecision there. Do I want to make this change? Do I not? That's what the Mercury retrograde to me is all about. Should we or shouldn't I or whoever? And there's indecision because divine timing is at work. It's all got to shift when everything falls into place in connection with others. And I feel like this Pisces is waiting for someone to show that they can do things on their own without your help to some extent so that you can go towards a celebration, an offer, an inheritance, a win, um, 
something material, home, car, business, communication, happy communication about a celebration. Yep, there's all that confusion there with the Seven of Cups and feeling like the Seven of Swords where you're like sneaking away from a situation. Again, maybe involving an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but Spirit's saying your journey has gone full circle. And if there's something you're excited about, recognize it as the light at the end of the tunnel and know that at some point in time when it comes to your home, your business, uh, your the, your location, eventually you'll be able to pack up and go when the time is right. And when the time is right, Spirit's going to give you the full energy to step into a new direction. But it, it, it's like there's... There's a lot of inner conflict here as you're putting effort out. You know, are you ready to receive your wishes coming true? I just heard if you're worried about someone who has a Taurus in their chart with the Hierophant energy, their wishes are coming true. They're they're getting it. Okay. Uh, for others, it's like the Hermit and the Star. You know, manifesting and the Hermit saying, "Okay, good job. Here's your wish. Let's lead you into the next chapter of your life." For you're going to shine like the sun. Some of you may be connecting with someone who has Leo in their chart. And there is some form of commitment, partnership, or contract. A very playful connection, but spirit is asking this Pisces to you sit in your element, Pisces, with the Queen of Cups energy and pray on this offer. Yeah, because there may be a quick desire to run away from your current circumstances. You have the strength to travel, to communicate, to check things out, to come back home, to think about things before making a quick decision. And that is the blessing of Mercury retrograde. So from the 5th to the 9th of March, 2020, whichever Pisces I'm reading for during this general reading, you are going to receive some form of communication about money and you are going to be researching. And I think really feeling good about this energy with the eight of coins energy uh, card is that what you're researching the offer and I think you're really starting to get excited. Get excited about this off, uh, uh, offer. Okay, and I just, there's another card hidden behind here. Okay, and a couple clarifications and then I'm going to go ahead and, and do a couple other things and bring this video to a close. I've been filming all day, I'm tired, right? All right, they're saying it's time, Pisces, to step into this new blessed path for the Ace of Coins or Pentacles is uh, a blessing from the universe. It's something that will grow and prosper, something that you are building will last for a long period of time, though some of you may be dealing with someone with the King of Swords energies who either has, um, they're, they're not sure they want to make the same decision as you or you're waiting on someone to kind of grow into a clear and decisive, successful path. So to clarify for some of you, you may be dealing with someone who has fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo, and someone who has Gemini in their chart with the lover's energy. Or as we move forward and figure out how these changes or if these changes are going to take place, Are you as passionate about the situation as I am? So I think that's where I think this is at. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of things. It's like the timing isn't here yet. But Pisces, by the 9th of March, 2020, the second super moon, you will have a full moon in Virgo. The strength to communicate and receive assistance. So you can create new daily routines or priorities for yourself especially in the area of health. Positive changes you are creating for yourself are going to bring you great health. So some of you are going to sit in a position, a higher paying position, a position of, or there's connection and communication with someone who is financially abundant, secure, and stable, who has an open heart, a very family oriented person, being, you know, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or not. This offer is beautiful. Somebody wants to give to you. Somebody wants to help overflow your cup with peace, joy, contentment. But see, what is the truth? I can't make a decision. 
and some of you can't make a decision because you're still waiting for other things to transpire, conversations with others and changes in the lives of others before you can step into this. So sit back and enjoy the fact that spirit is helping for some of you to really cleanse your energy from anyone that you have held on to for far too long, if only in your thoughts. Know what I mean? Because these are only temporary problems. Come out of the confusion and get excited about obtaining more information as you kind of just sit and wait on spirit to give you this tower moment. Something that happens outside of yourself, having to do with a friend or family member far away. So temporary problems when it comes to an exciting new offer to maybe move back towards family or friends and in the hopes and fears position. What is the truth? Is this victory or is this not for me? And the apple is about temptation. So it's a time in, during the Mercury retrograde to rethink the beginning, but to, you know, not say no or yes. Because look at there's indecision here about this home, about this business, about this change or a new direction regarding someone who is far away. So you are highly thought of. Somebody really cares about you. Pisces. <laughs> I'm going to clarify again. By the way, this is my newest deck. This is the Tea Leaf Fortune Card deck by Ray Hepburn. Okay, now here we do have someone leaving your life, and I think this is why. Because somebody is leaving your life. The energies are going to be gone. The thoughts are going to be left behind regarding some form of unhealthy person, place, circumstance, situation, thoughts, or manipulation. These were temporary problems. And now some form of shocking realization, I think, for the positive because of this offer when it comes to someone who is at a distance from you. So you are highly thought of. So I just want to pull an overall, one last overall card for this read. All right. Now, this is teardrop energy. This is about great personal sorrow. I feel like this is about, for this Pisces, having to let go of something you were really putting a lot of energy into. I feel almost like another person helping out someone. I keep feeling that, Pisces, and it's like now it's time for you. So as you find clarity about where you are headed, because there was an aha moment, a new job opportunity or financial project or idea to you is finally on your mind, right? When we put our effort into what we want to create, when we let that inner light shine and become the star we were meant to be here on earth, you're going to have the strength to focus on your career or job situation, your financial stability, and go away from Someone acting like a turkey, right? Behaving stupidly, going away from that personal sorrow and confusion, holding on to a situation for far too long. Look at, yeah, because in the outcome position, we have the tower. Solid foundation and success through your efforts. And that goes with these. Creating abundance, stability, security, able to give care and provide for others in a new direction whereby your cup will overflow with peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. Moving into a new home, a new business situation, either way, Spirit is guiding you into a solid foundation. And they're saying that through your efforts of researching what is on offer, uh, success will follow. Okay, so I'm going to close with one card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed And I made this video a little bit longer because it's happy birthday season. So happy birthday to whichever Pisces are listening, and thank you for stopping by. All right, let's close with one card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed Representing the week, uh, not the week, it's a couple weeks we're covering. One, two, three weeks, two and a half. Anyway, 
the card I pulled is the Well-Wisher, number seven, beautiful spiritual number. Should I stay? Should I go? Right on cue. Now, to me, the number seven is about kind of contemplating how far you've come, what you've accomplished. Give yourself a pat on the back and then just give your uh, open to spirit and say, please bless me with what will be and show me the wisdom, right? Like we've been talking about because the power of the divine has to do with this shocking realization outside of yourself, not within yourself, tied to someone who's far away. These are just temporary problems. And things will evolve as they will. The sadness will fall away that you were dealing with. You'll come to the realization that someone was just acting silly and not getting their crap together. And, uh, yeah, you're highly thought of. So if you're moving and you're worried about your business for some, the power of the divine is going to help things to flow smoothly for you. So this could be very well a relocation. I don't know. I don't think it's happening in the beginning of March, but I think, um, it's going to feel more right as time goes on. So don't really take action during the Mercury retrograde. Give yourself until the 9th, at least, of March 2020. The number nine is the Hermit Energy, just like it was during the first supermoon on February 9th. I'm feeling that this Pisces has gone the distance and you're going to have the strength to step into something much better. There's worry here that it's not going to flow. But remember, spirit is going to show you signs and synchronicities if you'll pay attention to what you're learning and recognize the signs that you are highly thought of, that people are really being drawn to you. And it's because you're coming out of the confusion and the frustration of what is. Yes, somebody may have to come out of your life so you can move into a new direction for some, but um, the divine is highly at work. Success, success, success with the pin energies. New job, career. You may come off a little intense. So I do want to say this, Pisces, as you're setting goals and meeting goals and obtaining more information with the Queen of Swords energies, this is about uh, getting the information you need, being very clear about your boundaries, being clear about your goals and intentions, and being clear with those whom by which you may have to kind of send on their way, like it's time for college or it's time for that job. It's time for your first apartment. I'm feeling that a lot from this Queen of Swords energies. And again, we have a Pisces here who has been dealing with, I don't know if they have Aries in their chart, but that was an emperor energy. It was someone who was maybe uh, in a high level position wise financially, but they come off very intense and harsh. If, if you are recognizing this in someone, that's the clarity Spirit's trying to bring you. They're saying, don't hold on to that. Make a change in the area of home or business. Yes, it is time for a new beginning. As soon as you recognize the major arcana of the world energy around you, that something has gone full circle. And now new portals are opening up. And for some of you, this is going to be a very shocking realization. Through communication with someone at a distance, and you're, you're being tempted, but you're going to have the strength of the Ace of Swords to step in a new direction and cut away from what doesn't serve you because then your light can shine, right? This clouded energy is blocking your happiness, and we don't want that on your birthday, right? We want to celebrate our achievements. Yes. So enjoy this, this moment of patience and stillness and plan and observe and know that everything will unfold how it is supposed to, and when it is supposed to. I'm not sure you're going to get clarity about a situation, but it's definitely a good time to continue to research and see what could be, okay? Take your time. And I could go on and on for this Pisces, but yeah, 
If you're interested in your own personal reading or you have questions about this specifically that I can answer, feel free to write me at my email for a personal reading at josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. So I'm still offering, by the way, uh, the New Year special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. God bless.